Hello children, in this video we are going to see the workbook exercise page number 12. Catch the apt data type. Hi guys, I am just planning to revise my visual basic lessons. I am a little doubtful on the data types and the range of values. I just want to store the numbers listed here in variables but I am not sure of which data type to use in each case. Hope you guys will help me out. Here the note is given, choose the apt numeric data type that will be best suit each of the values listed below. First one, 56.23. So the data type is float. Second one. Which data type is correct? Yes. In teacher. Because the decimal point is not there. Then third one. Yes. This is also in teacher. Here also the decimal point is not there. Fourth one. This is long. Okay. Then fifth also. Yes. The data type is long. Sixth one. Is the float. Yes. Seventh one is the integer. Okay. Then eighth one. Yes. It is also integer. Okay. Next exercise, page number 13. Hit the right variable usage. Listed below are some usages of the variable names in VB. Apply the rules for declaring variables in Visual Basic. Shade the right button if the usage of the particular variable name is right. Else, shade the wrong button. Okay. See the first one, num3 is the right, okay, this is the right. Second one, 3 num is a wrong. Third one, num underscore then 3, it is the right, the variable name is correct. Fourth one, num and 3. Here the variable name is wrong. Okay. Here and is given. Then underscore num3. This is also wrong. Sixth one. Dim. This is also wrong because it is a keyword. Seventh one. Num ash3. Yes. This is also wrong because ash is given there. Next one, number 3. This is right. Okay, the variable name is correct. Ninth one, double. No, it is wrong because this is also data type. Tenth one, num 3 and a score. This answer is, sorry, this variable name is right. Okay, so these are all the answers. You should mark it in your workbook page number 12 and 13. If you don't have your workbook, write it in your rough note. Okay? Thank you children.